Hello and welcome to Boats and Engines. In this episode we're going to be converting a rough old caravan trailer into a boat trailer. In the UK certainly, I know most of my viewers are actually in the US looking at my statistics, but in the UK boat trailers go for huge amounts of money even if they're rough and old. Most of the small boat trailers don't have brakes and uh, certainly don't have suspension with shock absorbers that these do. These old Alco caravan chassis are really well made. Sorry about any wind noise, but I'm like outside and it's windy and shit happens. So what we're gonna do is convert this into a bunked trailer. So we're gonna weld up some cross braces to bolt in. I don't wanna weld onto this because it's galvanized and it gets pretty nasty welding onto galve. So cross piece at the back, probably one just in front of the axle. I'll put a little roller in the middle and then two bunks made out of wood going across covered in carpet and then make some sort of winch post. Those are my thoughts. Um, trailer also came with these wheel arches. So I'm going to have to make brackets to bolt onto the side of the trailer, maybe with some nice check plate steps. I quite like to make tops of the wheel arches steps as well so i think our fiberglass insides because these are just i don't know molded polyurethane or something there like you can tread on them so yeah there's the trailer it certainly tows very nicely uh, it did have a bed on it which i've just ripped off got good tires good bearings we'll probably get those shocks off to make sure they're still good but uh should be a very nice boat trailer when we're done and maybe we'll paint it in some galve paint as well just to bring it back up so um, I'm going to be arc welding this if in, you're in the US you probably call that stick welding I don't know in England we call it arc welding I have got a MIG welder but it's knackered and arc welding you can generally get better, better penetration so I'm going to be using quite thick steel for all of this um, not a welder, my welds probably won't be pretty, but as long as I can stick them together good enough, uh, then we're good. So let's get cutting some steel and welding them together. I probably won't film too much of a welding just because I don't want to damage my camera. So I'm set up and ready to start welding now. So I'm doing this on a piece of plywood. You should never weld on a bit of flammable material, but I'm only a hobbyist welder, so I haven't got really really got space for a proper welding bench. So this will have to do because I need a flat surface. I'll just be very careful not to set fire to it. And I've got a hose ready for in case I do. Um, using a magnet to keep it straight. So these side bits will bolt onto the side of the trailer. I'll also be putting a gusset in here to bolt down through. So i'll weld that up then you bring bring you back i have got a bit of angle ready just to do some practice welds on and set up the welder uh just using a very cheap little welder and i'm going to try and do everything on the straight and flat um and hopefully my welds won't look too terrible right got the first welds done and not that pretty but not horrific I'm certainly pleased enough with that. Certainly got good penetration. That's what counts really. It's all about the penetration. So yeah, I just put the gussets in in the edge. And uh, this will be ready to test fit up. So I've just welded on this uh, support. So there'll be a bar going through that that supports the um, bunks and last weld that I did I know it's not that pretty but I consider that to be pretty good uh, the reason I haven't bolted these on and I've welded them uh, is to bolt through box sections kind of bad practice because you just crush the inside of a box section and they can loosen up so I've welded them, worst comes to the worst, I could just cut those welds off. I think that'd be fine, one on either side. I've just got to weld on a couple of little tabs poking down sort of there or something, just so that the uh, light board clips can go on. 
so it's got something nice to bolt to. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Gussets went in nicely. Add a bit of strength to it, and it means I can bolt through from the top as well. So it will have three M10 bolts spread out quite far on either side, so six M10 bolts holding it on, which I think is going to be plenty. Alright, so I'll get those little tabs on, then we'll start working on the next cross member. Progress is coming along nicely. I'll talk you through all the bits I've made. Um, this is the winch post, so I've kind of built this twice because I didn't like the way it looked the first time. And it's got adjustment on this snubber, whatever you call it, so it can arc round and move in and out so I can get it just right because a bit of guesswork to how the boat will fit. I ended up putting on these braces they're six millimeter bar so that's quarter inch bar box section would be better but that's all the scrap i had left over i mean most of this i've been building out of scrap steel apart from the crossbars they're three mil wool um 40 by 60 three mil wools what uh eighth eighth of an inch i think um i had to put in these bars because this back section was very flimsy well not flimsy it was fine up and down but it would wobble side to side so that's to get rid of that because i think the trailer would end up um a bit snaky without it don't want it don't want it to tow sketchily i want it to tow nice on long journeys got these little protrusions for the wheel arches to bolt onto and I'll put aluminium check plate on top of those so they can be little steps to make it easy to reach into the boat. There's the grand view. I think now I'll take the wheels off and that spare. I want to sort out a slightly different mounting method of that. It's just got one bit of wool thread going through it. Um, I'll probably do similar just with two bits. So I'll take off the wheels and we'll start painting. I'll just mention all these rollers and stuff. I haven't bought anything. Um, every time I've had a boat trailer, I've always converted it to bunks rather than rollers. So normally you have like the tilty rollers on the side, but I prefer bunks because you don't get point loading on the hull. I think it's better for the boat. So every time I've bought a trailer, I've chopped off the old rollers, shoved them in the bucket and We've still got enough to do another couple of trailers probably but um never throw them away just keep them not worth anything uh they're fairly cheap new if you're building a trailer like this if you're going to build one of these only advice is use thick wall section if you're arc welding because it's easier to weld and um 
put in some sort of cross bracing like that to triangulate it to stop, stop the trailer being snaky. Right, we'll get on with painting. Got the bunks on, so I've just wrapped them in carpet, stapled it over, and they go onto these posts, which are just like trailer feet, so for caravans or keeping your trailer level when it's parked. And I just turned them upside down, welded on a bit of angle iron, then they're coach bolted through. So they're just two by fours. Some people put them horizontally, I prefer them this way up so they don't bend. It's uh, quite a nice way to support your boat because you don't get point loading. So much better for your hull. And it's just as easy to launch as, trail as um, rollers. Got some hubcaps on, don't really like them. Look good in the pictures and they look pants in real life. But better than the skanky on wheels. Um, I ran out of paint, so it's a little bit patchy. I've ordered a couple more cans, so I'll just go over these side bits again. I don't care about behind the wheels, just to make it look a little bit better, but do a quick before and after. So here's the trailer before we started. And this is the after shot. So yeah, I think it's gonna work pretty well. It's uh, very, very rigid now. Looks good, nice winch on it, uh, plenty of adjustment on that post, so uh, get the boat to fit. If you'd like to see what boat I'm going to be putting on this, subscribe to the channel. It's something very cool, it's an absolute wreck. Um, it is American, love American boats, quite rare to find one in the UK. And it's going to need a lot of work, but it is something very awesome. and. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Subscribe to the channel and find out. It's going to be a big project. Uh, new stringers, floor, transom. Uh, it come, comes with a couple of old engines, which I'm just going to sell because I've got a engine in mind for it, which is a tower of power, of course. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Cheers for hanging out with me. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, don't copy anything I do. I'm an imbecile. And <laughs> yeah, that's about it. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.